Hello everybody, my name is Mark and I am going to show you how to get the dig site pendant. So hope you enjoy the video. Now first thing that you have to do is you have to complete a quest and the name of the quest is this one right here. It's called the dig site. I'm not going to talk about how to complete this quest. There's already videos out there on how to do that. Just know that you have to complete this quest and then once you complete this quest then you want to come here to the Varrock Museum and I'm standing right outside the door entrance of the museum and then you go inside and you're going to talk to this museum guard and he is going to let you inside this little area and he says welcome would you like to go into the dig site archaeology cleaning area and I say yes I'll go in and then he lets me in opens the door like that okay and then the next thing that I do is I come over here where it says take tools and I am going to take one of each of those tools you can see there's five different tools there's a trowel a rock pick a special specimen brush leather gloves leather boots so I'm going to take one of each and uh, so I just took the trowel and now I take the rock pick and now I click on it again I take the specimen brush and then I click on it again I take the leather gloves I click on it again and I take the leather boots okay so that's all the tools now I'm going to wear the gloves I'm going to wear the leather boots and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this crate right here where it says take dig site or actually let me where it says take dig site specimen rocks and I'm going to take one which I just did I just took a rock and uh, it doesn't let you have two at once but you take a rock and it's right there in my inventory and so then I click on use uncleaned find like that and I go use it here on this specimen table and then my guy is going to clean that rock and then hopefully I will find a clean necklace which I actually already have and this time I didn't find anything it just crumbled in my hand oops better not let the professional see that one and this is the item right here uh, clean necklace and it's only a 2% drop rate so it's it's really a grind it's a headache it's annoying m monotonous and boring but you got to do it okay you've got to f find a clean necklace okay and you just keep coming back over here and you get these rocks and then you click used use unclean find and you click it over on this table and uh, let's see what we find this time. Uh, okay, there you go. It found a broken arrow. And uh, most of the time, you're just going to find junk. Most of it's going to be worthless, or maybe you'll find some, some gold or something. And then uh, you just keep doing that over and over. It's, it's monotonous headache. I'd say this is one of the biggest pain in the you-know-what's. That I've ever had to do so far playing this game but you have to do it many things in life are a grind and you just and you have to keep doing this over and over until you get this clean necklace and FYI it took me about an hour to get this clean necklace this time I got arrowheads but eventually you're gonna get a clean necklace and then once you get the clean necklace then you click on use clean necklace and you're going to use it on these guys over here and I don't think it matters which one you talk to there's a guy Cinco Door or Tense Torp and so you use the necklace on these guys over here click it like that and then my guy says take a look at this I found this pretty necklace and it says interesting yes it looks like it's enchanted and then I say with what 
Oh, I think it's a benign teleport spell. I tinker in magic when I'm not doing archaeology. I can teach you how to make necklaces like this. Amazing that they had this knowledge back then. And then I say, that's good. Where does it teleport to? And hmm, all the indications, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to read all that. The archaeologist takes the necklace, turns it over, studies it closely. And there you go. It says, congratulations, you completed I dig this transport. Unlock dig site pendants. So now that gives me access to a spell. And it says, you can make enchanted ruby necklaces. So I just make a ruby necklace and use five fire runes and one cosmic rune to enchant it. And that's the runes you need to cast the spell. And yes, indeed, thanks for helping us. And so now I've just unlocked the spell. And so I don't actually have the runes in my inventory. I probably should have put it in the inventory. But I will go uh, to the bank right now and I will get those runes and then we'll see what spell that I can cast. Okay, here I am at the bank and I got my runes my fire runes, my cosmic runes, and I got a ruby necklace. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enchant that necklace right now. So there it is, level three enchant spell. And let's see what happens here. And uh, cast level three enchant ruby necklace, left click. And uh, click the enchant like that. And there you go, right there. Now let's check my backpack. And there it is. There is your dig site pendant. And you can uh, rub the pendant. And it acts as a teleport spell. And I can go to any one of those three spots right there. If I click it, I will teleport to the Varrock dig site, the Sinston Temple, or the exam center. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, happy runescaping to you all. Ciao.